Hi, my name's Mark from Pullman Espresso Accessories. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your new tampshell kit on your Barista Tamper. So this is the box that you will receive. Let's open it up. All right, so you will have um, chosen three different rings. Okay, first, the most important, and the first thing here is your flange part. Okay, let's just leave that aside. And you've got your three rings. Okay, let me show you how to set that up. In my recipe, I'm gonna dose 20 grams of coffee. I'm using a filtration 876 basket, 19 to 22 grams. Okay, let's use the stir to break it all up. Chisel. Perfect. And then tamp. All right. We want a tamped bed of coffee. What's important is the flat uh, side wall of the basket. We want the ring to, let's put, let's just drop a ring on top. Okay, we want the ring to be flush with the top part of the basket. Okay, the flat part, not the uh, radius bit, just the flat part there. As you can see, that's a 10 mil ring. Okay, and it's probably by eye about two mil gap. All right, the 11, let's drop that in. All right, so by eye, yep, we're probably still a mil out. So it looks like the 12 is the one that is gonna work for us. Let me take that out, put that in. Yeah, as you can see, the 12 is perfect. All right, so in regards to the rings, normally um, we've got five different sizes. Uh, you choose your three different uh, sizes, but most of the time the 10, 11, 12 is gonna cover 95% of all the applications. If you're using a really light roasted coffee, then you might choose the nine to 11. If you're using a really dark sort of coffee, then you'll probably choose the 11 to 13. Otherwise, if none of that works, then what is also common is that you've got the wrong size basket. Okay, so if you've got a really deep basket and the 13 uh, is still not enough, then you need a smaller basket. Okay, you've got way too much headroom and then vice versa for the other end. If your basket is too shallow and you wanna try and fit 20 grams of coffee in a really shallow basket, and the nine doesn't work, then your basket is too shallow. So you need a deeper basket. All right, so let's assemble the tamper. All right, so we let's unscrew the handle. It's the first thing we do. All right, we need to take the rubber cone out. Now, sometimes grip and twist, but if your hands are slippery, you might need a little screwdriver and just put it in here, and then you can lever it out, okay? like so. Ring goes in first, beautiful. Then we go flange, okay. Then we go rubber cone. You can see the little spacer as well, that's part of the collar. Drop that in the middle, okay. And then screw your handle back on. All right, and there you have it. So now that will be perfectly matched to your dose. Well, how easy is that, guys? So the tamp sure is gonna give you a perfectly leveled tamp every single time. Whether you're a home barista or in a cafe, making the coffee consistent all the time is key to a great tasting coffee. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe, hit the like button, make sure you hit the notification button, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.